Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. Today I'm going to tell the world my Wheel of Fortune story and things I learned from it. So, we've all known the show uh, Wheel of Fortune with Pat Sajak and, De and Dana White. When I was in high school, my sister had been on the show. Now, we live in Kansas City, but my mom had been on like the Pyramid Show back in the day, and my dad had been on the Pyramid Show back in the day. So, my brother's the only one that's never been on a game show. So, I had auditioned for Wheel of Fortune. It's not really that hard. We had gone out to visit there for like a spring break something. This is probably like I would have said 1990, 91. Anyways, so they get the call. You're going to go on the Wheel of Fortune show for Teen Week. I'm like, woohoo. All right. So I fly, we fly out there for the show. <laughs> well, this is, I believe it was maybe like May of 1992. It was a week after the L.A. riots. So we fly out to L.A., and people are shooting at the plane, so we have to turn around and go back to, to Las Vegas. So we're all like, what the hell? So, so then we fly the next day, and they were originally going to do the show on Saturday, once we flew back into L.A., and they were going to do the show on Saturday, they moved to, Sat to Sunday, okay? So we get there, and they put us up at this Marriott. Mikhail Gorbachev is staying at the Marriott, and they got Marines on the side of the street. In the street, and it's like a curfew. So I'm going on Wheel of Fortune in the middle of like the post LA riots where everything's going berserk, just at the tail end of it. So we go and we do the show. And they, for those who don't know, they tape the show um, like all one week in one, sh in one day. So there's five shows in a row. So anyhow, anyhow, I won two shows. I won Wednesday and I got the bonus round, and then I won the Friday show, and I didn't get the bonus round. So here's the, the, the spiritual teaching of Wheel of Fortune, okay? I didn't get diploma on the fifth day, because I don't, as a prophet, as someone who loves God, it's like, if any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So we can't have the approval of man, the diploma, okay? But on the Wednesday show, when I won, the final bonus round was, was, was Canada, the country. Like, oh, Canada... My home and native land, true patron love, and all thy sons come in, or whatever it is like that, okay? So I grew up, you know, watching hockey, like with the Boston Bruins and the Montreal Canadiens. So anyways, I got it, and it had everything but the D. So I was like, oh, Canada. So what's the spiritual teaching of this? I can, C-A-N, do nada, nothing, <laughs> without Jesus. <laughs> and I took dominion over the land of Cain and his zero, not a point. Okay, now I have nothing against the Canadians. This is all spiritual. Just like it's Luciferica here, it's Cain either there. When they went to, when some guy from Britain first went there, there's literally a historic quote that said, this godforsaken land must surely be the land of Cain. Now, of course, that's not true because they have all kinds of resources and whatever's there, okay? I mean, it's like not very many people in a whole world full of stuff, okay? Like, it's huge. So clearly, uh, the New World Order is there like anywhere else. So anyway, so I can do nada, nothing. I didn't get and can't have the diploma of the world, okay? So, here's something that I learned, and I try to learn everywhere I go, right? Something. When you go there for the show, there was a guy named Gary who's a contestant coordinator, and he's like, look, basically for me to sum it up, he's like, this isn't Jeopardy, this isn't rocket science. Okay, okay. It's pseudoscience, but it's not rocket science. So he was just saying, look, it's like, we want you to win. We make enough money, like, have a good time. This is what you're supposed to do. Buy vowels and use your free spin. He said, you would not believe how many people, even when they have money, they either don't buy enough vowels to keep the game going because the other person's not making any money when you buy vowels, and you're going to increase your chances of solving the puzzle. Okay, it's very simple. He said, you wouldn't believe how many people end the show, and they're holding a free spin because they're waiting to, like, use it for a rainy day. He's like, use your free spin. Okay. This is something to learn for life. Most people are afraid of what? Putting themselves out there, being criticized, thinking big, doing big, doing something special. They don't use the free spin of the gift of life that we have. Jesus said, if you cling to your life, you'll, you'll, find, you'll lose it. But if you give up your life, you'll find it. That's eternal life in him. And that's what he does with me and with anybody else, okay? So we have to use our free spin because we're not entitled to anything but hell in the lake of fire because every single last one of us is a little lying devil without Jesus, period. Okay? So you've got to own that. It's a free spin. And you're going to spend your life telling people to come out of those demonic hell holes called churches 
Repent on the inside of your heart and repeat after me. My everything's wrong, Jesus. Please forgive me. You are awesome. And there you go. Now, as to the name Wheel of Fortune, there is a wicked Fortuna holiday through like Roman history. That's the goddess, okay? But there's also a fort, F-O-R-T, stronghold of U-N-E, now unity of Jesus that is truth plus love equals life, the seal of God. The wheel, okay, is the we, apostrophe L-L, we will to will no more through Jesus. Like Ezekiel's wheels, the inverse gravity vehicle of God's throne, which is multidimensional and badass beyond description, is that's his wheel, Ezekiel's wheel of the throne of God. I'm not joking. He's awesome. He's the wheel of fort unity. We are united under him who destroys our will of the collective. Under him, we're all champions through Jesus. That's my Wheel of Fortune story. Thanks.